Hello, and welcome back to Magic Cat, Magic Cat Security. I cannot talk, I swear. Mm. Okay, um, we're back today to show you another customization. I know you guys, a lot of you are dying to get into the hacking portion of, of stuff here, but we do need to go through a few things um, to help you personalize your system first. So, we will get to that, trust me. Then you're going to be sorry we got into it. <laughs> no, just kidding. You'll love it. But anyway, I already have our system open here. We're going to, and you see now, because the Conky setup, while it was in a minimized mode, that's where it placed them, but we can fix that. Open the Conky manager, and we just cut it off and back on, off and back on. There we go, off and back on. And then, Everything goes to where it's supposed to, respectively. And it actually did that, but again, with it went to the position of the window. But see, the size of the window is smaller, so that's where it placed it. But these are goodies here. Now, um, we're going to look into uh, something else that you can add if you'd like to add it. And, uh, we're going to do a search for a particular app that will give you some really fun stuff to do called Cairo Doc. You just do a search for Cairo, okay? And this is it right here. So we're going to select that, mark it for installation, and she's going to grab a bunch of little stuff to go with it. Boom! Grabbed a lot there, didn't it? Yeah, that's okay. Now we're going to hit apply. And I don't know if I've ever showed you this before. You can look at what's going to be installed if you want to again. Um, and it tells you how many packages will be installed, how much space, what has to be downloaded. After all that, it's only 10.4 megabytes that has to be downloaded. Gotta love Linux. Got to love it. It's just so awesome. That would probably be 2 gigs in Windows. <laughs> okay. Although we can't forget... Um, Windows and many of these other companies actually contribute to open source. A lot of people don't realize that. And we do thank them for that. But you'll hear me uh, knock Macintosh and Windows occasionally just, just out of fun. Because I'm a big Linux user. Okay. And it's downloading all of our packages here. Once it grabs all the packages, then it will expand them and install them as needed. And it says only two minutes left, so, well, it's jumping around. Depends on what file it's looking at at the time. Which obviously is not that accurate since it's transferring. It's guessing by the size of the packets. But it won't take long. If I recall this one's going to get close to halfway and then it's just going to fly through the rest of it. <laughs> and I would normally pause here, but it's really not going to take that long, so I kind of hate to pause for like a minute and a half to do that. But if it looks like it's going to take a bit longer, it will. We'll definitely do that, because I don't want to waste your time. I, want, I know you don't want to waste time either. You want to get, if you're like me, you look at a video, you want to get right down to the meat and gravy. Don't want to be messing around with blah, 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 blah. So I try not to talk too much unless I'm telling you something that's important. Because you're not watching this to hear me talk. You're watching this to see the tutorial and learn stuff. There we go. Yep. So I remembered right, got around halfway, and then it starts flying through. That last little bit will probably go zip in just a minute. And then I can quit giving you so much blah blah blah, we can get back to the learning. Almost done there. The reason there's so much with this, you'll see in a minute, It's these are actually like a lot of little widgets and plugins that go with it. 
widget, plugins, whatever you want to call them. And pardon me if I have to sneeze here in a moment. I think I feel a sneeze creeping on. <clears throat> pardon me. I thought so. I was clearing up a shelf earlier that was quite dusty and I guess it just now caught me. Almost there. <laughs> it's interesting, the Zeitgeist Library. <laughs> Not sure what that library is for. Interesting name. We'll open up like I, I've always told you to do. It's best to open up and watch the terminal action here. Because once in a blue moon, it will ask you to answer yes or no for something before it continues. And you don't want to just be sitting here staring at a screen going, why isn't it moving? You won't know unless you open up the details and you can see what's going on. Okay, just about done there. Set the sandbox profiles. There we go. <coughs> so sorry for the sniffling. Nasty rainy weather here lately. Alright, so this is updated. We can close that now. So now we'll go to applications and I can't remember if it's a system tools or accessories, system tools, okay. So we go down to system tools and see we have Cairo Doc now. Um, don't worry about the fallback mode, okay, just Cairo Doc should be fine. Alright, and sure, remember this, check that. It's going to normally, again, it's going to normally choose what it feels is best and usually Linux knows best. Okay, usually being the keyword. So there we go. Now, you see what just appeared here? We have a little little dock at the bottom. And that's what Cairo Dock is. It even gave us a little extra thing here. But we maybe we don't want to sit with that, so we're gonna right click if we can find an open spot on it. Um, there we go. There's our, our Cairo Dock. Um, it's just like, an, it's basically an alternative, here, let me um, do something to panel. Right click on the panel, choose properties, and we're going to use show hide buttons. Okay, so, and yeah, we want the arrows on so we can see it. And I'm going to click on the arrow and whoop, it just kind of zips the panel into the side there. So now we can see the, the Cairo dock better. It's just another way to do a menu, a kind of a Mac-like look. Although, um, Nick's had this before. Mac started doing it. Um, you'll find that most things that come out as new features all the time in Windows and, and Macintosh that, that Nix has had it for years. So, um, pretty cool. I remember the first free BSD box I set up with an Enlightenment um, window manager. It actually had the ability uh, and this was years ago, that you're, you could have animated desktop wall, wallpaper, which is not necessarily a big deal now. We even have that on our smartphones. You can have the animated wallpaper. But back then, that was that was just, it blew my mind uh, that many years ago to be able to do that on a computer. And I remember the one I chose was like a pool of water. And as you moved your cursor around, it would show the streams and ripples of the water. So it was like an interactive animated desktop. It was really cool. I'm sure it used a few resources too, but it was really neat. Um, so we have Cairo Dock open. You want to kind of choose like a blank area of Cairo Dock and right click it. And you see I have the option for Cairo Dock. And I, you can tell it to launch on startup if you want. I'm not going to do that, but we can. And we're going to click on configure. And oh my goodness, look at all the stuff we can we can set up and configure here. So if we go to if we go to let's see, here we go. We have add-ons we can add to this particular dock. Let's go to current items. Let's see, that's what's showing now. Configuration. Now here's the fun one, themes. Let's go to themes and whoop, hey, look, it loaded up a whole bunch of stuff. 
let's see what chrome looks like okay so see we have a little picture to get an idea of what that one's gonna look like let's let's try it out we'll hit apply yeah we want to do that imports everything for the theme and it's taking a moment there we go boom there we go and there's the little chrome looking thing that's pretty cool huh they kind of rotate when you float over them and see like this one this is the applications menu on the Cairo dock so and it's you can see it's just like the menu that we use just all in one okay so that's a cool thing you can play around with it you can choose different ones like let's see elementary oh see this one's kind of sophisticated let's let's take a look at it um, sure we want to do that let it import there we go and we have different docks on this one see we have side docks and everything it even gave us a special little time thing here okay. pretty cool there's all kinds that you can look at <laughs> Humanity Dock. Um, look, here's a Mac OS one. Or, excuse me, Mac OS X. Let's see, yeah, I gotta do it. Let's see what it looks like. Sure. And poof, there we are. And I'll be darned if it doesn't look a lot like the Mac OS X um, dock that it has. Look, it even gives us a little clock up here. That we can move to where we want it. Kind of cool. So that's how you install and set up ChiroDoc. And uh, I wanted to shut it down again. I just right click, choose ChiroDoc, and I can tell it quit. And yes, we really want to quit. Boom, see all of it's gone. All right. So thanks for joining us. A short little tutorial there how to install and play around with ChiroDoc to add a little bit more flair and personalization to your uh, Linux desktop if you'd like to. Um, some people like it, some people hate it. Um, I, I take it by moods. I'll use it for a while and then I get sick of it and I put it away and then I'll try it again. Um, it can be fun. Oh, you know what? Before we go, I am going to show you one other thing. I, I don't... Whoop, go to the right menu. That would help. Let's open ChiroDoc back up real quick. <coughs> Pardon me. I meant to show you this. Almost forgot. Um, you're you don't have to like be stuck with what's on here. Okay, and what I mean by that, let me find a little bit uh, uh, less busy. I suppose. Whoop, no, certainly not that one. I want just a nice. There we go. Nice little basic cover dock. So I can show you what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay. Well, this one's fairly basic. It's got a, it's got a top dock also, and a little side thing here. But that's okay. Um, I can show you what I was going to show you. Um, suppose I go. Well, darn. You know, I, I wish I had. Um, I don't know the Conky Manager there to select from. So you just go to that icon. And you're going to drag and drop it, click and hold, and drag it down here. And see where it starts showing the arrows. So I'm, I make sure I'm in between the icons that are on there. Now let go, and boom. Now I have the Conky Manager icon available also. And see it, re it automatically reacts just like all the other icons. So if I click on it, now it opens up Conky Manager. So that's how you add your icons. If you want to get rid of them, you right click on that icon and select what the item is. This is the Conky Manager icon. So I select Conky Manager and then I say remove. And you notice I even have the option if I want to move it up to the top dock. I go boom, and it appears magically up here at the top dock. But if we're going to get rid of it, Conky Manager remove. And yes, I want to remove it. And there it goes. Okay, so now you know how to add and remove uh, additional icons to your Cairo dock. Also, if you decide you like Cairo dock and want to just try it out, you can uh, play around with that and have some fun. All right, 
Thanks for joining us. Have a good one. And don't forget to come visit at magiccat.com. And we'd love to see you there. Bye-bye now.